Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to name lines, line segments, and rays. We will start with lines, move on to line segments, and then we will end with rays. Let's jump into how to name a line. And remember, a line goes on forever in both directions, so it extends infinitely in both directions. Now we can name a line by using two points on the line. For example, in number one, we have point Y and point Z on that line. So let's use those to name the line. So all we need to do here is write the points, so Y and Z. And remember, when we name points, we use capital letters, so we need capital letters here. And then we put the symbol for a line above. Those arrows show us that we have a line. Again, a line goes on forever in both directions. So the name of this line, line Y, Z. Now when it comes to naming lines, it doesn't matter what order you put the points in. So we can also name this line Z, Y. Either way will work. So line Y, Z or line Z, Y. Let's move on to number two, where we need to name two lines. Let's start with this line right here, where we have point A and point B. We can name this line, line A, B. Or if we switch the order, we can name this line B, A as well. Now for our second line, let's look right here at this line where we have point C, D and E. Now we only need to use two points to name this line. So we can use whatever combination or order that we would like. We just need to use two points in order to name this line. So for example, we can name this line, line DC, line DE, line CE, so on and so forth. Let's use point C and point E. So we can either write this as line CE or line EC. And again, just to be clear, we can also use the points D and C or D and E in order to name this line as well. So for number two, we named two lines. So there's how to name a line. Let's move on to line segments. Now let's take a look at how to name a line segment. And remember, a line segment has two endpoints. Now when we name a line segment, we use the two endpoints. For example, in number one, our two endpoints, point M and point N. So to name this line segment, we write our two endpoints, M and N. And remember, when working with points, we use capital letters to name them, so we need capitals here. And then we use the line segment symbol above the endpoints. Notice that we don't have any arrows on this symbol. This shows us that the line segment stops at point M and stops at point N, so we have endpoints. And that's the name of this line segment, line segment MN. Now when it comes to naming a line segment, order does not matter as far as the endpoints. So we can also write this as line segment N M. Either way will work. So line segment M N or line segment N M. Let's move on to number two, where we need to name two line segments. Now here, we have a handful of different options. We just need to decide what we want our endpoints to be. For example, let's use W and Y first. So we have an endpoint here and an endpoint here. So we can name this line segment, line segment W, Y, or we can name this line segment Y, W. 
Now, as far as our second line segment, we just need to pick two endpoints and then go from there as far as naming that line segment. So we can use W and X, we can use X and Y, or we can use X and Z. So again, we just need to pick two endpoints and then name the line segment based on those endpoints. Let's use X and Z. So we have line segment X, Z, or we can say line segment Z, X. So for number two, our two line segments, line segment W, Y, or line segment Y, W, and then line segment X, Z, or line segment Z, X. And just to be clear, as far as number two, there were more than two line segments that we could have named. So there's how to name a line segment. Let's move on to rays. Now let's take a look at how to name a ray. And remember, a ray has one endpoint and then goes on forever in one direction. So it extends infinitely in one direction. Now when we name a ray, we use the end point and then we use another point on the ray. The end point always comes first when naming a ray, so keep that in mind. So for number one, we have point H for our end point and then point G for the other point on the ray. So we can name this ray, ray H, G. Again, the endpoint always comes first. Order matters when we name rays. And then we need to put the ray symbol above. And that shows we have the endpoint, and that ray goes on forever in one direction. And that symbol always points that way, going from the endpoint, which needs to come first, and then through the other point on the ray. So we go from point H, the endpoint, and through point G, and that ray goes on forever. Let's move on to number two, where we need to name two rays. Now here we have a handful of options. So we need to determine an end point, and then the other point in which the ray extends through. So for example, we can use W for an end point, and X for the point that the ray goes through. And this would be ray, W, X. Or, still using the end point of W, we can use point Y for the point on the ray. And this would be ray, W, Y. Now these both name the same ray. We have the end point of W, and then the ray extends infinitely in one direction. We can either use point X or point Y for the other point on the ray when naming that ray. So again, both of those are naming the same ray. So something to keep in mind. And let's continue on here. So we're actually going to name more than two rays. Let's use X for the end point and come this way through point W. So this would be ray X W. Or we can use X as an endpoint again, but go this way through point Y. This would be ray X Y. Now, can we use Y as an endpoint and come this way through point X and point W? Yes, those are options as well. Or another option, we can use X as an endpoint and then Z as a point on the ray, and the name of this ray would be ray X Z. So you can see we have a handful of options there for number two. So there you have it. There's how to name lines, line segments, and rays. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.